a former Uvalde CISD police officer has pled not guilty today to charges related to that deadly school shooting there more than two years ago. Of course, as we know, 21 people tragically died in that shooting. So that's where we find our Andrea Lucia. She joins us live outside the courtroom there in Uvalde. And uh, Andrea, we know that dozens of families actually came out to watch this morning, and I would imagine it was very emotional for some of those families. Yeah, you know, uh, one victim's uh, mother told me she had been dreading this moment. Uh, but this was the first opportunity that many of these victims' families had to actually see Adrian Gonzalez with their own eyes. They tell me he was the first officer on the scene uh, getting there even before the shooter made his way into any of the classrooms. And they believe Gonzalez may have missed a crucial opportunity to stop these murders before they even began. Adrian Gonzalez walked into court to enter his plea of not guilty, staring straight ahead, never once looking back at the seats filled with victims' family members. I don't know how Adrian can walk in with his head held high like that when he knows that he did wrong. Gonzalez is charged with 29 counts of abandoning and endangering children by failing to confront the shooter at Robb Elementary. Former Uvalde Schools Police Chief Pete Arredondo and Gonzalez are the only two officers indicted over what a DOJ investigation called cascading failures in law enforcement's response. There was over 370 officers there. We have not seen or even heard of a theory of why Mr. Gonzalez is being singled out. Gonzalez's attorneys say they've seen no evidence of Gonzalez's guilt and that the charges themselves are highly unusual. No Texas peace officer has been charged under this statute before based off the situation that we're dealing with. So it, it's, it's uncharted territory. Victims' families say the indictments are one step in the right direction with a long way left to go. But the other officers need to be charged too. Seeing him and him being the only one there, you know, um, you kind of get discouraged, you know, because there were so many officers that failed the children. And today's hearing was short and mostly focused on procedure. The next court date in this case was set for September, and some of the victims' families tell me they plan on going to every single hearing that they can. Reporting live in Uvalde, Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas. Andrea, thank you so much for keeping on top of that story for us.